As a child, I recall the first time I was asked where I was from. I was born in South Sudan and moved to North Sudan at an early age with Dinka tribe roots. To be specific, I was born black. I hesitated. This moment was my first confrontation with the concept of identity, a theme that would fascinate me for years to come. This anecdote reflects a broader question that permeates our global society. What defines our identity? Is it our ancestry, our culture, our experiences, or something else entirely? In a world where borders are both physical and increasingly digital, the quest for a pure identity seems more complex than ever. As we delve deeper into this topic, we will explore whether identity purity, an identity untouched by external influences, is a feasible notion or merely a mythical ideal. This journey will not only highlight the fluidity of identity, but also challenge our perceptions of self and others in an interconnected world. Identity purity is a term that suggests an untouched, unaltered state of being, where an individual's sense of self is derived purely from internal factors without the influence of external environments. This concept, at first glance, seems to offer a sense of authenticity and originality. However, is such a state achievable, or is it a construct of idealistic thinking? The implications of striving for identity purity are profound. In a pursuit to maintain a pure identity, one might reject external influences that could otherwise enrich or broaden one's perspective. This can lead to isolation, or an unrealistic perception of self that does not acknowledge the inherent complexity of human identity. In reality, every interaction, every piece of media consumed, and every cultural experience plays a role in shaping who we are. The concept of an untouched identity free from these influences seems not only impractical but also contrary to the fundamental nature of human society, which is built on the exchange and evolution of ideas. Consider the case of immigrants who often find themselves balancing the cultural expectations of their new country with those of their homeland. This duality does not dilute their identity but rather enriches it creating a multifaceted sense of self that incorporates diverse influences. For instance, a second-generation Indian American might celebrate both Diwali and Thanksgiving, weaving together these traditions into their unique cultural tapestry. Similarly, technology and globalization have introduced a plethora of external influences that shape identities. Young people in Japan might be fans of Bollywood films, while teenagers in Brazil may adopt Korean fashion trends. These influences highlight how identity is not static but a dynamic construct that evolves with exposure to different cultures and ideas. Such examples underscore the reality that our identities are continually molded by the environments we inhabit and the interactions we have. The concept of maintaining an identity purity in such a context not only seems outdated, but also ignores the richness that such interactions bring to our lives. In a globalized world, the idea of a pure identity becomes even more elusive. Cultures intersect and people are exposed to a myriad of influences through travel, media, and technology. This blending can lead to what some might call cultural dilution, but it can also be seen as a form of cultural enrichment. For instance, consider the global food scene. Dishes like sushi, tacos, and pizza have transcended their original cultural boundaries to become global staples. This culinary cross-pollination is a metaphor for how identities are formed, blended, adaptable, and continuously evolving. The reality is that we live in a world where isolation is nearly impossible, and trying to maintain an untouched identity is both impractical and potentially harmful. It can prevent individuals from fully participating in the global community, limiting their personal growth and understanding of the world. The pursuit of identity purity is not only a challenging endeavor but also an unnecessary one. In our interconnected and ever-evolving world our identities are bound to be influenced by a myriad of factors, and that is not something to fear, but to embrace. Embracing a mixed identity does not mean losing one's sense of self. Rather, it allows for a richer, more comprehensive understanding of who we are in relation to the world around us. The true beauty of identity lies in its complexity and its ability to adapt and grow through diverse experiences. Ultimately, the notion of a pure identity is more of a myth than a reality. As we move forward, it's vital to recognize and celebrate the diverse influences that make us who we are. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute to a more understanding and inclusive world.